the three dresses. Long, long ago, in a kingdom beyond the seven seas, lived a king with his two handsome sons, Rannick and Roland. They had a tree in the garden since a few years. It gave just three golden apples. Nobody was allowed to pluck them. And within a few days after the apples would disappear. One day, the princess asked their father. Father, why are we never allowed to take the apples from our own tree? And where do they disappear within a few days? Every year, a terrible monster comes and takes the apples. He is very strong, powerful, and brutal. And you have trained us, dear father, to be strong, powerful, and brave. We must fight this thief. That is what I was expecting of my princes. I had deliberately not fought the demon, as I thought that the one among my sons who defeated him would be the rightful heir to my kingdom. Father, I will fight this monster and capture him. Let's do this together, brother? No, I shall do this alone. So that night, the elder prince waited by the tree for the monster. In the deep of the night, he heard footsteps. The entire earth shook and rumbled under their weight. The shadow of the monster fell on the prince, and it was so massive that the prince was shocked. He suddenly lost all nerve and ran away from there. The next night, it was the turn of Prince Roland to try, and he was prepared. He had a trap of iron chains built around the tree. As soon as the monster arrived and pulled the golden apple to break it, the trap mechanism got activated and the monster got ensnared in iron chains. He roared ferociously and pulled and kicked and finally managed to free himself and ran. He has run this way. The princess ran behind the monster deep into a forest until suddenly the sound of the monster's footsteps stopped and the princess came to a well. Looks like he has jumped inside this well. So he got away. No, we promised father to capture him. I want to go after him into the well. It could be dangerous. And that is why I shall go alone, so that you can pull me up if I need you to. Prince Roland climbed down the well. He went deep, deep inside for a long, long while, until finally he landed in a strange, beautiful country. As he walked on the flower-laden, gorgeous paths, he came to a grand palace. There was a princess in the garden. Oh! So finally, a prince has arrived. Meaning? And what is a monster doing in such a beautiful country? The monster is our friend. You see, we have a legend that only the prince brave enough and wise enough to rule the world can follow the monster here. So my father would send the monster to different kingdoms to see which prince is worthy of ruling the world. Oh, so the monster is not an enemy? Nope. Well, I don't know about ruling the world, but I have to get back. My brother's waiting at the well. You mean your brother, who ran away at the mere sound of the monster and made no attempt to catch him? Please do not speak of him like that. Why don't you then test his bravery and honesty? Take this armor and announce. The prince took the armor, went to the well, tugged at the rope, and called out. I was given an armor. They say whoever wears it will rule the entire earth someday if he is brave and noble. I'm sending the armor up by the rope. Take it and then pull me out of the well. Of course, send the armor. Prince Rannick pulled out the magical armor from the well, 
But when the time came to pull out his brother... Once my younger brother tells father about all that has happened, father is sure to make him the king. But what if I take the armor? Tell father I was the one who defeated the monster. Anyway, the monster is gone. He's in no danger down there. He can rule the monster's country. So Prince Rennick left, leaving his younger brother in the well. After waiting a long time, Prince Roland realized that his brother had betrayed him. He was very sad. Don't be so sad. People who make mistakes can be corrected. Can they? How? I am going up there in your kingdom. You keep this with you. Walnuts? Not just any walnuts, but magic ones. Each of these walnuts has an extraordinary dress. One is like the sky with its sun, moon, and stars. The second is like the earth with its trees, flowers, animals, and birds. And the last is the sea with its corals and fishes. Use these only when you need to. The princess vanished from the spot. And the prince was left alone to find his way back to his world. He started gallivanting in the kingdom. Presently, he came to a shepherd. Good fellow, do you know the way back to the upper world? Go to the field two miles from here. You will see a group of eagles on a tree. Ask them. The prince walked two miles and came to a tree where there were many eagles, all of them crying. What is wrong, dear eagles? The dragon comes every evening and empties out our nest, taking our children with him. And there was nothing we can do to stop him. Why would he do something so horrible? <laughs> because one day when he was sleeping below with his tree, our little fledglings made a lot of noise to disturb him just for fun. We did make him apologize to the dragon. <laughs> but ever since that day, he is so angry that he takes away our eggs. <laughs> that is so unfair. This foolish dragon must be punished. All the dragon's powers lies in a stone in the middle of Lost Hill. But no one who goes into the hill will ever be able to come back. I don't care whether I come back or not. I will go. I'm a prince. I cannot let innocent creatures suffer. I must do whatever I can to protect you. Show me the way to the hill. The eagles took the prince to the hill. The prince was just about to climb it when there was a booming thunder and lightning and someone spoke from the sky. Oh, prince, you are indeed brave and noble. You risked your life for the eagles. You have passed the test. You may go back safely. Test? wanted to test the nobility of the prince of the upper world if he indeed is the one worthy to rule us rule you why you have the magical armor which makes you the ruler of the world and the world includes us we will be at your command whenever you need us dear prince <laughs> well thank you i do need help right now i need to go home back to my world hop onto my back and i shall fly you up there the eagle grew to an enormous size. The prince hopped on his back and flew to the upper world. In the meanwhile, in the prince's own kingdom, Prince Rannick had fallen very sick. His father had called for doctors to treat him, but nothing helped. Then one day, the princess went there as a doctor. You can cure me? You know my sickness? Your sickness is a heavy conscience, sir. Have you lied about something? 
Have you been unfair to someone? A heavy conscience robs us of all peace, happiness, and joy, and makes us sick. How dare you! This armor that you wear comes with three extraordinary dresses, symbols of the ruler of the sky, earth, and seas. If you can acquire those dresses, then it will be proven that you did not lie. What dresses? The first dress looks like the sky, with its sun, moon, and stars. The second like the earth, with its trees, flowers, animals, and birds. And the last like the sea, with its corals and fishes. The prince spoke to the best tailors of the country about the three dresses, but no one could make them. He announced a reward for whoever could make the three dresses. Prince Roland heard this and came to the palace disguised as an ordinary tailor. Your Highness, I have the three dresses with me. Do take me to the prince's chamber. In Prince Rannick's chamber, Prince Roland opened the walnuts and out came the three dresses. The shimmer and the magnificence of the dresses reached the armor the sick prince was wearing and there was a huge flash of light. Uh, uh, I cannot take this any longer. This armor does not belong to me. It does not belong to me, father. I was not the one who defeated the monster. It was Roland. I lied to you, father. And as soon as the older prince said this, all his pain, his sickness vanished and he became healthy again. You were right, Doctor. The weight of a heavy conscience takes away all happiness and joy. I am sorry, Father. I was so selfish. I shall go and bring my brother back. No need for that, brother. I am here. Roland! I am so sorry. It's all right. I want you to have the armor. It belongs to you! The king, too, thought that Prince Roland was the rightful owner of the armor, but both the brothers ruled the world together. Some time later, Prince Roland married the princess of the world below the well, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>